Welcome back to SmartHelping.com. I've had a request on the FIFO cost goods sold template to add more SKUs to the, the base version. So, well, there's only one version, but now there's this version. So I've added five SKUs, and you could add probably without Excel crashing, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15. It's not too difficult, actually. You just got to um, add tabs and update the references. The logic's super sound and contained. Um, basically, every SKU needs uh, a, an input for purchases, uh, cost of goods sold, and then uh, two different matrices that have matrices that have all kinds of logic in here that I built when I first did this um, to make the numbers work. Now, this is probably my favorite piece of business logic I've ever done. And the reason why is because I spent years with people coming to me with this problem and, and want to identify what their cost of goods sold is based on purchasing units over time at certain dates and for a certain amount and then selling those units over time. And normally there'd be no solution. You just have to either um, assume everything is some average cost or there's no really other way to do it in Excel and automate it. Um, the other way is manually looking at like saying, okay, I sold, I bought 2,500 units at $1.50. So my first 2,500 units are going to be $1.50. And then as soon as I sell more than 2,500, I'll move to this batch at $2. And so this template will automatically just let you put in the order info and the sale info. And then the, the logic tells you what your average price is for every sale. As long as you enter things in order that they've happened. It's very cool. It took me a long time to figure this out. And again, it's one of the, the best pieces of business logic I think I've ever done. Um, the way it works, I feel is super clever and it handles like, it also handles in between where like, if you, if it has to say, okay, some were sold from the rest of this batch at 250, the rest were so, the rest that are sold were applied to this cost. It will handle all of that. Um, now, Let's see, it'll go down to 400 batches or orders uh, for a given year, 12 month period. And again, that's not hard to update. If you want it to be longer, just um, drag all the formulas down further. The other piece of this, and so what I did, I just added a SKU entry, five different ones. They work the same as the very first one, but you've got five here. If uh, it doesn't apply, you can just zero out any of the, the tabs that don't are not needed. Um, and then the monthly cost of goods sold will go look at that and tell you what your cost of goods sold is each month and the total for each SKU and on a consolidated basis. And I added some charts here as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it. The reason why I did this is because I did have a comment in the this... Uh, video to add more SKUs so I thought well five, having one batch handles a lot of cases having up to five should handle more um, quite a bit more and you can always try and batch your SKUs into like it doesn't have to be a single SKU but maybe into an average cost in each of these tabs if you have like thousands of SKUs because this is not going to work for thousands of SKUs uh, there's no way Excel's, it'll crash after like, I mean, I don't even know, maybe 20 or 30 separate um, iterations of these uh, SKU and matrix uh, com uh, combinations. So that's all I got for you if you want to purchase it. If, first of all, if you already have purchased it, I will give you the upgraded version for free. No extra charge. Just email me the proof of purchase. If you have not and want to purchase it, just go to the link in, in the description box below and um, click through. You'll well, and purchase it. I will send the template after uh, the purchase has happened. Um, and I'll send both this one and the original just as one SKU. Uh, the world, they're both now going to be included in the purchase of $125 one-time fee. I feel like this is 
very useful for any accountant using the FIFO, first in, first out, um, for the cost of goods sold, which I'm pretty sure is the standard now internationally and in the U.S. Uh, for GAAP. So this is a great tool. Great tool if you had a if you have to calculate this, it takes the manual and, and potentially errors out of doing it manually. Um, I thought this was just really a cool piece of logic. All right, uh, that's all I got for you today. I'll see you on the next one.